I actually have so many classes going on in my head. Uh, a minute ago, I mentioned in another class, and it's actually in this class. So I may have touched on this a little bit already. Dealing with the RESPA compliance and the MSAs, the Marketing Service Agreements. All right. So an MSAs are were pretty common uh, to be used by the settlement service providers. That's which we're going to call just the providers for many years before this bulletin came out. There was a bullet bulletin in 2017 that started talking about uh, making sure that the MSAs were being followed to the letter. Basically an MSA is where a person in a position to refer settlement services. So that could be real estate broker, could be mortgage loan originator, could actually be a title person. Um, they call those the source. So an MSA is a contract between a source and a provider to perform certain marketing and advertising services on behalf of that provider. All right. So first of all, you need to understand that RESPA does not directly address the legalities of these, meaning they are legal. They're not illegal. However, RESPA does prohibit the payment of any fees for things of value for the referral of settlement services as long as that there is an agreement of understanding that the person who is providing the service is in fact being paid for that service. All right, that's what I just mentioned a minute ago. If the service provider, the source, is providing the services and being paid for the services, then RESPA says it's okay. That's fine. Now, the problem comes is when those fees start getting manipulated or directed in a different manner so that the revenue that's generated is only paid for sources that close. All right, there's where your problem comes in. If the source party under the MSA is actually performs the agreed upon marketing and services, then the number of referrals the provider pays would go get higher. So you see what, okay, two issues. If you give me one source, the provider says I'll pay you X. If you give me 100, I'll pay you more. That could be right on the border of, wow, that's paying for leads or that's paying for services. If they're paid only on ones that close, that looks more like uh, referral fees. So if there's say a blanket amount where the title company pays the real estate broker a hundred dollars a month, whether they get one ad placed by the real estate person or a thousand, whether it closes zero or a thousand, that would be acceptable under an MSA. Many companies, though, have determined that the risk becomes so high that it's not worth the return. So there, that's why these MSAs are starting to fall out of favor. There used to be, I remember back in the early 2000s, title companies would co-market advertising materials with agents. What they would do is they would use the title company's uh, database of names and they would pay for half the money and the real estate agent would pay for half the money. And the problem was th that was commensurate on the number that they sent out and the closings. That's where we start getting into this trouble. All right. I want to thank you guys for staying here and staying with us. We have got more classes coming on this afternoon. If you're at home, I want to thank you. 
If you have questions, feel free to email me, Raymond at realuniversity.com, and uh, I'd be glad to help you out. And I want to thank you guys for being here. Well, I guess I got one more. I, I should have showed you that. <laughs> uh, for those of you that can see that at home, there's my email address. Uh, if you guys want to write it down while you're here, that's cool too. All right? See you later.